The drama began to unfold when the Chinese government survey ship, China Hayam Dizzy 8, started tagging an exploration vessel operated by Malaysia's state oil company Petronas in disputed waters starting April 18, 2020. Zubal Matsong, the head of Malaysia's Maritime Enforcement Agency, confirmed that the Hayam Dizzy 8 was in Malaysian waters. The incident prompted the United States to send ships within 100 nautical miles of the standoff, USS America escorted by USS Bunker Hill, USS Barry and HMAS Parramatta, as shown in the picture guided missile cruiser USS Bunker Hill, CG-52, and guided missile destroyer USS Barry, DDG-52 steam towards South China Sea. Greg Poling, director of the AMTI, said China was using same intimidation tactics as it had in resource-rich Vietnamese waters, where Spanish energy firm Repsol has pulled at least two projects in recent years following pressure from China. He said, Beijing doesn't want to pick a fight here but it wants to intimidate. China never stop his bullying act to its neighbor even though in the middle of pandemic. With the US ships in the area, apparently China is sending in its warships led by its aircraft carrier Liaoning. Take note, the area involved is not part of the Philippines' claims, and is outside the West Philippine Sea.